five animals qigong what a delightful form this is before doing it i highly recommend you warm up first uh, if you are not warmed up jump over to jade lady and pick a warm up and do that because uh, there's probably a lot of unaccustomed activity in this form we are mimicking the spirit of five different animals uh, making these beautiful moves and we don't make those moves in our everyday life. So you will be moving and stretching and making muscles work in ways that your body is not used to. So make sure you're warmed up and also just go gently. If this is the first time you've done it, back off, go gently, listen to your body. The more you do it, the more you can uh, launch in there a bit more. And um, one example being seizing the prey for tiger instead of that which is a really strong move you might start off with that so just uh, pull back a little bit and i'll give a few um, alternatives for for the moves as well just before we start some of the hand forms we've got an open fist thumb just on the outside there, we've got a tiger paw, open palm, extended fingers, but the digits are bent down to make a claw. It works every single muscle in your hand. So that is part of the unaccustomed activity is particularly the hand forms. Colliding antlers, so the deer antler two fingers bent down the other three extended up so that's our antlers monkey paw i like little hooks and for the bird we've got bird's wings two middle fingers together and the other two extended a bit one modification i have made for this form is so that it does fit in your lounge room uh, so instead of travelling forward for the bear and travelling backwards for the monkey, we just go out and in, out and in, which works really well. Let's begin. Just taking a moment, letting yourself settle. Stepping out. regulating the breath palms forward rolling backwards and down breathing in as we lift and out in and out tiger raising its paws pressing down form the tiger paw and roll form a regular fist lifting gently looking up and now forming the claws little finger leads the way roll Form fists and I recommend soft fists because your hands will get sore otherwise pressing down claws rotating the forearms keeping your neck movement comfortable as well let's do that once more Lifting a gentle extension of the neck. And gently press down. And moving into seizing the prey. Open fist, extending a little. Stretch if it's comfortable. Pull to the knees. Core muscles absolutely switched on and empty stance. Weight at the back, 
straightening up. Keep this spinal movement comfortable. Again, it's unaccustomed activity. Go gently. Now the right heel forwards in an empty stance. And you decide how bent that leg is. You might choose not to bend far at all. Once more, forwards, pouncing. I can really feel the muscles of my spine working, which is great. A leaping tiger. And the right heel forwards. Easing up, adjusting the breath. Circle around, recover. The deer colliding antlers. Open fists, heel to the front. Now forming our antlers, turn the foot out, stretching. Come out of that move, form the open fist, turn the foot out, shift weight forward, anchor that elbow into the waist. We are playing with other deer, colliding with the antlers as they do sort of symmetrical around the head. That's what we're aiming for anyway. We are leaning to the side and rotating. Now listen to your back. Enjoy that stretch. Running like a deer forwards bow stance. Open fists or hooks. Antlers tuck the head round the back. Straighten your posture, relax the shoulders. Step back to change size with this lovely little loping transition. Drop, tuck the head. Straighten the posture. Swapping a light prancing movements. Really opening up the upper back and then relaxing again. Easing up, adjusting the breath. The bear, rotating the waist like a bear, bring in your little paws, anchor them to your ribs, rotating the waist, curling forwards. We're using all of the core muscles here. Gently arch back, gently turn, gently lean to the side. So we've got flexion and extension and rotation all going on here. So you want all of your muscles active to protect the back. Other way, we go twice in each direction. So my hands, my paws, are just coming with me. They're not moving. I'm feeling all the muscles of your torso. Stretching, working. Easing up. Swaying like a bear, forming out bear paw, lift the hip and 
a little jolt leading with the shoulder and we are stepping back lift that hip flat foot down so we do want that vibration going all through the body coming back again enjoy that beautiful flowing movement and again every muscle in your torso is working here adjusting the breath The monkey lifting its paws, adjust your stance if you need, narrower is easier because we're lifting the heels. Form your little paws, lift, shrug the shoulders, looking left, keep your balance, relax and lower. Quick hand movement, shrug, Turn, great exercise for the neck and the upper traps and relax. Gently looking down and upright, leading with the crown. Relax. The monkey picking fruit. A little hook in the belly. We are stepping back with the left leg. T stance. Looking up in the trees. Pressing down. Let's swing in the trees. Grab the branches. Grab the fruit. Bring it down and eat it. Stretch out. looking up. You decide how bent your knees are. Lovely stretch here. Bring the foot in, eating it. Fantastic brain exercise this one as well as the body it is a little complex but it feels beautiful stretch out looking up opening the eyes grab the fruit easing up adjusting the breath The bird stretching upwards, left hand on top, gentle tilt forwards, stretch up and down, wave-like motion, making your wings stretch back. Stretch up. Again, slightly unaccustomed activity here. All the muscles of the back, glutes, legs are working. And again, stretch. Elegant cranes. Flying like a bird. Lift the knee, whatever height suits you. And we are flying our wings. 
Lift them right up this time. Notice I've got the, the wing fingers. Just a shoulder height. And then all the way. And you need all of your core muscles active here, helping you balance. Draw in the belly button. Again, that elegant, fluid movement. What we're aiming for, anyway. And adjusting the breath. And closing form, gathering. Breathing out. In. Out. Letting yourself settle. And relax. And bringing the hands on to the Dantian and in, interlocking them. Right hand under for women, left for men. And just close your eyes. And pausing for a bit. Focus on the Dantian. Breathing calmly but deeply. When you're ready, open your eyes and stepping in.